Welcome to using Power Teacher Gradebook to determine a percentage grade from achievement levels by outcome. Power Teacher Gradebook has new functionality that can calculate a percentage grade from the outcome level scores. This feature will support teachers who record assessment information at the outcome level using the percentile achievement levels 1 to 4 and are also required to report percentage grades. In order for the grade to reflect teachers' intended assessment practices as set out in their assessment plan, teachers must first ensure that Gradebook is set up to calculate final summary scores for each outcome. To set up this feature, go to Tools, Preferences, and click on the Outcomes tab. There, teachers can choose from the following settings. Mean, Weighted Mean, Medium, Mode, Highest, or Most Recent. Most Recent is the recommended setting in most cases. If using Most Recent, teachers can then select how many scores to be included in that, and can also add a weight, if appropriate. In this example, the teacher has chosen to use the Most Recent 3 and has weighted the, the three scores as shown. At the end of a reporting period, teachers should examine the final scores for each outcome by going to Student View and using professional judgment to override the scores if necessary. Once you have set up final scores to reflect your intended assessment evaluation practices, you are ready to set up the gradebook to calculate a percentage grade using the final scores. Click on the desired course and then the Grade Setup tab. Select the appropriate term or semester. Next, select the Term Weights Standard Weights option. Click on the Add Standards button at the bottom left to select the desired outcomes for the course. To select an outcome, simply click in the box beside the outcome. Note, do not include the learner profile items or GCOs or strands in your selection. Once finished, click OK. This feature also enables teachers to assign weightings to outcomes according to their complexity and or importance in the development of the course curriculum. Weighting of outcomes should always be reflected in a teacher's assessment plan and clearly communicated with parents and students in the communication plan. Once the grade setup is complete, teachers will see an in-progress percentage mark in their grade books. In grades 7 and 8, the in-progress mark in the Student Parent Portal will display IP for in-progress regardless of any grade setups in Power Teacher Gradebook. In grades 9 to 12, it's important to know that the in-progress mark in the Parent Student Portal always pulls from the F1 setup. When using achievement level scores by outcome only, meaning no points entered under assignments, the in-progress mark will not display an ongoing percentage mark if F1 is left to set to total points. F1 can then be set to calculate a final grade as teachers near the end of the course. Note that Power Teacher Gradebook can use either points or achievement levels to calculate a percentage grade, but not both. Therefore, choose one method for calculating a grade and one set of evidence, either points out of or achievement levels by outcome. Note that the feature just explained is for those using achievement levels only under the outcomes. Remember that report card grades are only as accurate as the classroom assessment practices and the evidence of student learning on which they are based. In order for any calculated grade to be a fair and accurate summary of a student's achievement, the teacher must have ongoing quality assessment practices that engage students, 
Use evidence collected in a variety of ways from multiple sources, conversations, observations, products, and performances. Intentionally align curriculum, assessment, and instruction. Review assessment information and student progress on a regular basis. Ensure that the grade calculation is based on more recent evidence of student learning. And always use professional judgment to override a grade for a student if required.